you want to learn how to track emails and to find out when they've been opened, it's actually very simple. The first thing you need to do is click on the link in the description of this video and it will take you to the Google Chrome Web Store where you can download this extension for tracking Gmails. Now you can scroll down and find out more about this extension, but if you want to install it, we need to go all the way to the top and click on Add to Chrome, then click on Add Extension, and this will instantly add the extension to your browser. Once we've done this, you need to click on Connect with Google, as this will work with Gmail only. And then you want to select your Gmail account. So in this instance, I'm going to use the Techdemix. You then want to click on Allow, and the extension has been successfully installed. Now we'll tell you about their price plans here, but we don't need to know about that for now, so we can exit out of that. So the next time you sign into your email account, you should get this pop up here saying to use the mail track, just send emails as you normally do. And you should get this icon here. So that's exactly what we're going to do now. So if we click on compose, and I'm just going to send an email to myself, for example. Okay, so once you've wrote your email, you want to go ahead and send it just as you normally would. So to find out if your email has been opened or not, you want to click on sent mail just at the side. And just where the mail that was just sent, you'll see two check marks. Now one check mark means the email has been successfully sent. And if you see two green check marks, it means that the email has been opened. Now I haven't opened this email yet, but if I go ahead and do that now on my phone, you will notice that the second check mark will also turn green, as you can see here. Now I've also got a notification on my Windows computer, but you can disable those. I just want to mention that if you want to do this on your phone, you will need to install this extension from the Google Workspace Market, and you will need to have it installed on your computer first before you can do it on your phone. And that's it. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.